Hello, my name is Lucy. Welcome to my Simple Sunday Afternoon channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my wontons for appetizers. Wontons are Chinese dumplings similar to the Italian ravioli. They can be used in soups or they can be fried for appetizers. For the stuffing of my wonton, I'm going to be using about one pound of ground veal. And I purchased one package of wonton wraps, which we can find in the vegetable aisle at any supermarket. The wonton wraps are very thin and very delicate, and we must keep them moist while we work with the wontons. And to keep them from drying, I'm going to cover them with a moist paper towel while I work with the wontons. To season the meat, I'm going to be using five crushed garlic cloves, one large onion, one tablespoon of ginger, and about one quarter of a cup of parsley, salt and pepper to my taste, and one egg with about two tablespoons of water. In addition to the oil for frying the wontons, those are all the ingredients we're going to need. So let's start cooking. I pour about one tablespoon of olive oil in my frying pan so I can saute the onions with the garlic. To the onion and garlic, I added the veal and I sprinkle with salt and pepper. I'm adding the ginger and then the parsley. We let it cook in high temperature until the meat is brown. Once it's brown, we can retire from the stove. Now to form the wonton. Place flat in your working surface one of the wraps and moist with the egg and water mixture. Place one tablespoon of meat in the center of the wrap, then fold the wrap to form a triangle shape. Make a dimple in the center of the triangle and meet together both ends. After you finish making the wontons, you can boil them in chicken broth or stock and make a soup. And you can also freeze them for future use. I'm going to be frying this batch of wontons for appetizers. Ensure you have enough oil to cover the wontons when frying. Fry the wontons in high temperature. And they will take less than a minute to be ready. They tend to float in the oil when they are fully cooked. The stuffing of the wonton is fully cooked, so we don't need to worry whether the meat is fully cooked or not. So as soon as they turn golden brown, they are ready to be taken out. I am serving these wontons with sweet and sour sauce. Buen provecho, I hope you like this recipe. And as always, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you soon in my next video.